When you're working to improve your website's rank on Google, there are all sorts of things that you can do, and one of those is on-site SEO. Hey y'all, my name is Corey Ashton, and you have found a YouTube channel dedicated to all things WordPress. This month, I'll be working with you on search engine optimization. The exciting news is, there's really only two ways to be found on Google. You either pay to play, or you work hard organically and optimize for search engine rank. That's SEO. At the start of the month, I did a video to help you understand which method is right for you. And last week, I continued the series helping you understand what keywords your audience is searching for. This week, let's take a look at some things you can do on your website today that will help you improve your organic rank. We're looking at on-site SEO. There are three categories of tasks when we're looking at search engine optimization. On-site SEO includes things like keywords, great content, or meta tags. There's also off-site SEO, things like backlinks, social media activity, reviews. And there's a technical side to SEO that includes optimizing your page speed, your security, sitemaps, and other such things. For the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna focus on on-site SEO. When we add in those key words that we found last week, we're going to help Google understand when to include us in those search results. And your customers are gonna feel so much more confident that they've found the right product or the right service. We all know that content is king when it comes to our website. People are looking for great content, great advice, easy navigation. They're looking for just a really great website with exactly what they were hoping to find. So with that in mind, you really wanna focus on people first content. So what do I mean by people first content? It has to be original. You really don't want to use other people's content and just repeat that on your website. When you're original, Google's going to reward you. It has to be valuable as well. This needs to be something that people read and get excited about or watch and be inspired. And it needs to be accessible. You want your website to be certain that it's available for all people to be able to engage with or view, especially on mobile devices as well. It needs to be engaging. So don't just have a ton of text down a page. You want to be certain to include maybe some images in there that help people better understand the content and engage with the content more. And I already mentioned shareable, but it's got to be something that's easy for people to click on a button and tweet out there or post over to Pinterest or share on their Facebook. So how do we actually optimize our content further? Not just keywords, but other things. Well, how about meta tags and header tags? I know y'all, it can be very overwhelming, but don't worry about it. I'm gonna show you an example here that will hopefully give you an aha moment. When you're searching on Google and you see the search results for a specific link, that's called a Google snippet. And this is where you optimize your page title and your page description. If you're able to go in there and manually overwrite those, you can include those keywords that are gonna help not only Google understand what this page is about, but hopefully it'll help a consumer choose your Google search results over a competitor's. That same page title and page description also impact your social media posts. So where do you go to actually edit the page title or page description of your website? Each and every page has its own and they should be unique. You head into your website and you'll look specifically for the head tag where you'll be able to edit your title and your meta description. The great news is if you're running on WordPress, I highly recommend Yoast, it's a free plugin and it will give you instant access to make all of these changes very quickly, page to page, post to post. For those of you who don't want to knock on a developer's door and you'd like to make some changes today, you can go into each one of your pages and be certain that the main title on your page is an H1. That's a header one tag. And when you're looking at that on your website, it should include your keyword. Going further down the page, you can optimize your H2s or your H3s. 
Again, those need to include your keyword or key phrase. The example here is organic dog food. You can even go into your images and be certain that they are named correctly as well as their alt tags. You can see here, this photo is organic dog food ingredients farm market.jpg. Having that organic dog food phrase inside of my image title helps with that rank. Here's the thing y'all, Google's gonna love you when your users love you. And we wanna help them love us by giving them that fresh, original, great content. And videos, of course, are one of the best ways that you can do that. We also wanna be certain that our website navigates really easily on any device. So be certain today to go test your website on a mobile phone and be certain that you can navigate it easily. You also want to see it load really quickly. So if you are using those videos, you need to be certain that your website pages are still loading. You don't wanna weigh down your page. Be certain that there's a clear call to action as well. And on those mobile devices, be certain that we can click on them easily and have great ways to engage with you. You also wanna confirm that there are no broken links. I'll put a link in the description box below if you're running on WordPress for a free plugin that's gonna help you test that. And we wanna be certain that our website feels safe and secure and trustworthy. So you don't wanna have grammar issues and you wanna be certain to have an SSL up at the top of your website with that little lock. And I wanna share with you some great monitoring tools that you can use. Some are in the budget of free, others might have a pro version that you could upgrade to, but I highly recommend taking a look at these tools that could be something to help you overall improve your rank, find those keywords, especially SEM Rush, a great tool to help you find those keywords so that you're plugging in the right things. Y'all, I hope this was helpful for you. Please be sure to click like and subscribe. Next week, we'll be covering off-site SEO. These are additional things you need to be aware of and be tracking to be certain to improve that organic rank. I have an entire playlist dedicated to search engine optimization. I'll put that link in the description box below as well. I hope to see you next time. Bye everyone.